All right, y'all, it's tax season. Everybody's looking to get their taxes done. Congress is making a lot of changes. People don't know where to go. And so I've been getting a lot of questions, right? They say, Kamara, you've been talking about CPAs and EAs or enrolled agents and attorneys as tax professionals, but I'm not really sure where to go. I don't know if I should go to a CPA, a lawyer, or the guy that's at the gas station doing taxes in the back of the parking lot. So where should I go? So if that's you, if you have questions about that, come on over to the other side and I'll give you a real answer. What up, people? Kamari Ellis here, Finance Rebel, founder of the Philly Tax Team. Y'all know it's tax season, and I said I would continue to do a video just about every day. But listen, if you're brand new to this channel, if you're brand new, just see me, don't know me from a can of paint, I talk about all things wealth on my channel. Taxes, stock, business, money in general. If it's about money, we talk about it here. So nothing is off the table here. So today, I want to answer the question, who should you use to do your taxes? What professional should you use to do your taxes? Because I get a lot of questions about this. Okay, so in the grand scheme of things, there's about four groups of people who do taxes, right? And when I say who do taxes, I am using the IRS, the Internal Revenues Schema or Guideline or Guidepost, all right? So you have enrolled agents, you have CPAs, which stands for Certified Public, Public Accountants, and you also have attorneys or lawyers as they're often called, right? And the last one is considered unenrolled agents, okay? Or unenrolled preparers, so to speak, all right? Now, what I wanna do here real quick is I wanna go on over to the IRS's webpage because I wanna show you directly that it's not just me making this stuff up, but I wanna go to the source, all right? So let's go on over to the source and we can break down each one of these categories all right folks so this is what i wanted to show you i wanted to show you the actual live irs site right to show you that i'm not making this stuff up that i'm not biased i'm just giving it to you the way it is all right so like i said this is the irs site and they have this whole thing criteria for a tax return prepares all right and like i said to you there's usually four right tax preparers again you have your enrolled agents your CPAs, your attorneys, um, and your unenrolled preparers. That's kind of how they're categorized. And so those who are either, you know, an attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent, the IRS kind of deems them as having the most tax cred, all right, in that order. They, they feel the enrolled agents have the most tax cred, um, CPAs, and then attorneys. Now, listen, all my CPA friends, I don't want no problems because the marketplace Everybody believes that CPAs do taxes, like CPAs are the king of tax. Now, the CPAs do tax, but they are not the king or queen of doing tax. What is happening here is that their organization, AICPA, does a great job of positioning and marketing CPAs. Now listen, there's a lot of fine CPAs. There's a lot of fine attorneys. There's a lot of fine enrolled agents, and there are also a lot of fine unenrolled agents too. There's fine people, very dedicated to the craft, making sure the job gets done right for the tax repair. And again, I'm just telling you how the IRS sees all of this. All right. But again, the public thinks CPAs are the end all be all when it comes to tax. But when it comes to tax, CPAs do a lot of things when it comes to accounting, whether it be bookkeeping, whether it be financial statements, whether it be um, taxes, they actually do taxes, right? Attorneys do a lot of things when it comes to taxes. Um, they'll go to court. Um, some attorneys will do bookkeeping. Some attorneys will do financial statements. They can represent you um, in front of the judge, right? They have a broad base of what they do. Now, enrolled agents, the only thing that they do is they concentrate on tax, right? So for myself personally, I just do tax, right? But when we look at it all, we didn't have the un- enrolled tax repairs they get the least amount of respect they didn't take a class they didn't take a, they didn't pass any tests they don't have any certification so i'm just telling you kind of how it is so but i just wanted to show you all that to give you more of a guideline on where you should go as it relates to picking a tax repair to file your taxes for the tax season okay so hopefully that gave you a better impression 
and better understanding of this. And again, this is on the IRS's website. You can find it there. All right, so I've explained to you what a CPA is, what an attorney is, what an enrolled agent is as it relates to getting your taxes done. But the question is, who should you pick, right? And I get it. I'm giving you a bunch of information, but I didn't actually answer the question. But the question really comes down to a couple of things. Who do you trust? Who's reliable? Who has a real track record? Who's integral? Need all those things, all of them, right? You can know somebody, but they may not be integral. And why integrity is important in this, because if they're not integral, they could potentially get you in trouble. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for penitentiary chances. We don't have time for messing up with the alphabet boys. We don't have time for paying fines. People make mistakes, right? But when you're intentionally going down that path, that's a no-no in my book. So listen, you can work with an EA. You can work with a CPA. You can work with an attorney. You can work with an unenrolled, unenrolled agent. But when you're factoring in everything of who should you pick, remember, this is a personal, intimate situation. When people bring me their tax information, I just, I get to learn about everything about them. Children, romantic relationships, money, right? So you got to find somebody who really gels with you, who really works with you, who's in sync with you. And you want to couple that with people that have good ethics, good education, good experience. All right. So don't just go on by if somebody's getting a really big tax refund. That's not real criteria. That's actually bogus. That's just marketing hype. All right. You want to find somebody who actually has experience and knows what they're doing. And so hopefully this video gave you a little bit more guidance as it relates to picking your own tax repair. But at the end of the day, pick somebody that's reliable. That's there all year long. Okay. So again, if you have any questions, um, feel free, text me 215-974-0058. Um, and in the comments, let me know who does your tax return. Give them a shout out. All right, everybody. Kamari, what's out? Have a great day.